Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the lovely Karina here in Bogota, Colombia on this sunny day in the Andes Mountains at about 8,600 feet above sea level, give or take a few feet. So breathing is a little labored here at this high altitude, but we muddle through. Well, I do. Karina's are used to it. Okay. Now, this video is about 10-year green cards and the expiration of a 10-year green card. If you have a 10-year green card, ladies and gentlemen, not a two-year probationary green card, forget about that. You're on a 10-year green card. It must be renewed every 10 years, okay? Pretty simple, right? Like a driver's license is renewed every, what, six years, seven years. It's like a driver's license, but you are a permanent resident of the United States, and the green card gives you permission to live, work, breathe, and be happy in the United States of America, the Constitutional Republic, okay? You've got a 10-year green card. Now, let's just suppose you got real busy in your life, and your 10-year green card expired, and you forgot to renew it. Oh, no, you forgot to renew your green card, and you're in, your, you're in the bedroom, and you, or you're going through your purse, or you're looking through your wallet, and you see your green card, and you say, oh, let me check the date on my green card. And you check the date on your green card, and it's expired. Oh, no, you're going to think Homeland Security is going to be kicking down your door and putting you in jail. No. That's not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If your green card is expired, that means... Your green card is expired. It doesn't mean you are no longer a permanent resident of the United States. You are still a permanent resident of the United States, even though your green card has expired because you didn't get the time to renew it or you forgot. Okay? So, relax. You will not be deported from the United States of America because you have an expired green card. Now, you will be deported from the United States of America if you are if you are a felonious felon with a criminal background and you've committed fraud or you've domestic your domestic violence towards your your wife or your or children okay criminal activity like that will get your butt removed from the United States pretty quick but having a expired green card will not do that okay you're gonna be okay okay if you abandon your green card and you move back to your home country, then your green card is terminated if you don't renew it, okay? So to avoid all these problems and all these headaches, become an American citizen, okay? Immerse yourself into the culture of the United States of America, okay? Become an American. After five years, after three years in the United States, on as a, married to an American citizen, you should be, you should, you're, the first day you land in the United States of America, you should be preparing for U.S. citizenship. You're going to live in the United States permanently and enjoy all the benefits of this, uh, of this visa or of this immigration benefit. Become an American. Learn the history of our country. Learn the flag. Learn who, who's our first president. Okay? But to reassure you guys, so, so hang in there, okay? Listen up. Your green card is expired. Your 10-year ten ten green card is expired. You're an American in your mind. Your, your culture is, is totally American. Renew your green card if it's expired. You're not going to be deported. You don't be afraid to go to immigration and say, my green card's expired. I need to renew it. Don't, they're not going to deport you. You are a permanent resident of the United States. Okay? Expired or not expired green card. Okay? If you're a bad person, a felonious record, then you may be worried about renewing your green card. Because then you will be, your butt will be removed from this country, the United States of America. Okay? But remember, permanent residency in the United States is not tied to your green card not tied to a green card. The U.S. government has confidence in you that you're a good person, that you're going to work and be productive. You're not going to be lazy. You're going to be productive and you're going to help this country. Well, I'm in Colombia right now, so, you know, I'll be in the United States soon with Karina 
soon to be my bride, although we already consider ourselves married, okay? We will see you guys in Colombia. Colombia.